Good morning everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. So you guys have been requesting for a little while, I've been putting it off just to make sure I have all the products that I love in this video. So you guys have been requesting a full skincare routine. So I would include removing my makeup in this look but I haven't got any makeup on at the moment so I thought why not just do a full body cleanse. So I'll show you guys from A to Z, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. So I'll show you guys my full cleansing routine from head to toe. All over my body, what I use, what I like to do, even like my whole like bath routine, what I like to put into the bath, different products like that. So if you guys are interested in how I keep my skin acne free, cleansed, moisturized, especially because I am oily as well, how I kind of manage that, then I'm just keep watching. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so first things first, I'm going to take my face halo and apply some cold running water, just gently rinsing it under the tap. Then what I'm doing is just wiping down my face to initially just kind of cleanse any dirt or impurities from my skin. I love the face halo, not only because it is eco-friendly, but also because it has like halo technology, which allows the fibers to really deeply cleanse your pores. And really remove any like impurities or anything that may be causing you to break out or get acne. Next I'm going to take my Sukin face cleanser. I love this one. It's the charcoal one. It's vegan. It has no animal testing. And it, as you can see in the back of the packaging, it literally has like no nasty chemicals or anything like that. It's a very natural face cleanser and also very affordable. So basically I'm applying it all over my skin. And then taking my Vanity Planet face brush. I'm using the gentle like cleansing brush. And applying that all over my skin as you can see it really like deeply cleanses your skin and I love this brush it's literally the biggest game changer for me in terms of like getting rid of my acne and keeping my acne prone skin at bay like keeping it really cleansed and smooth it lightly exfoliates your skin and also deeply cleanses it too so I like to use it after I've removed my makeup as well and basically I'll cleanse my skin with my Vanity Planet face brush for about two to three minutes, making sure I've nicely, like, deeply cleansed it. Then I'll go in with my face halo and just remove any more, like, impurities or debris from my face. Next, I go in with a face mask. So, you guys, I have a few, like, favourites that I have tried out on my channel before. I'll leave them linked down below. This is my current favourite at the moment. It is the Hay Bud, like, Hemp Clay Mask. And I have done a recent review on it if you would like to check it out. And I also have a discount code for you guys if you would like to purchase it. You get 15% off at checkout. And I'll leave it on the screen below. Basically, this clay mask is so good. It's so natural as well. And it has um, detoxifying properties. It cleanses your skin. And it also leaves it feeling silky smooth. It's so good. And it's really helped get rid of any pimples or anything that I've had lately. So I use it about two to three times a week. And I've just found it's left my skin like with a beautiful glow, like a healthy, dewy glow to my skin. So I currently leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. As I take a bath, I like to do this. It's just so easy. I can just enjoy my bath and have my face mask just sitting there. And currently what I've been using in my bath routine is these bath bombs my sister made. I will leave the video on how to make them down below. They are all natural, they leave you smelling so good, they're so fresh. I think this one smelled like lavender, I think this is uh, essential oil that she used in these current bath bombs. And I just find it's the best thing to relax after a long day. So after about 15 to 20 minutes, I go in and just wipe off my face mask in the bathtub. It's a lot easier to do when you're already in a big tub of water. And as you can see, my skin just feels so smooth. And it also, like, shrinks my pores as well, which I didn't mention before. But I also love about that face mask is that, like, really, like, shrinks down your pores and really tightens and brightens the skin. So for my full body, like, cleansing routine, I go in with this coffee scrub that my sister also made. You can get them online as well. And, oh, guys, there is nothing better than a good coffee scrub. The benefits of using a coffee scrub on the body is that it reduces inflammation in the skin, it improves blood circulation, and gives a youthful, radiant glow to the skin. It also removes dead skin cells because it is an exfoliant. It reduces puffiness, improves texture of your skin, and it reduces the appearance of cellulite. And basically, I apply it all over my body, 
Um, I usually leave water in the bathtub because I do like to sit back down and rinse it all off. Um, it's up to you. You guys can do this in the shower as well. It, it, guys, it makes you smell like coffee. It literally is. I love the smell of coffee. So like having a coffee body scrub is like my best friend. For my body moisturizer, I either switch between the thank you one or I go with this natural body butter. Also, my sister made it. I'll leave the video link down below on how you can make it yourself. And it literally leaves your skin so moisturized and so hydrated for like hours and hours and hours. What I struggle with is dry skin and I find normal moisturizers don't like hydrate my skin for a long period of time. I find it gets really dry and cracked again. However, this body butter is like incredible. It leaves you hydrated and moisturized for like the whole day and it leaves a beautiful like cocoa butter scent to the skin. So that is my body routine. Going back to my face cleansing routine to kind of hydrate the skin again after that deep cleanse, I go in with this jojoba, I think that's how you pronounce it, face oil. And I love this, especially when I had horrendous acne. I found this was a huge game changer again for helping um, heal the skin after I did have acne. So the benefits of jojoba oil on acne is that it can keep acne at bay. It has a soothing anti-inflammatory like property. So it has healing properties in it that help moisturize. And it is also a natural antimicrobial. So it helps you avoid breakouts as well as promote healing for acne. So next I'm going in with this incredible product. This I've talked about in my previous skincare routine is the Manatec emprazone product so i use this as my face moisturizer it has activated aloe vera in it as well as other incredible products included in it i'll leave it linked down below for you guys to check out i definitely recommend reading up on it it is the most amazing product in terms of like keeping your skin youthful healthy the aloe vera in it is great for skin healing and i apply this all over my skin and down my neck and chest as well just because it does keep that youthful look to the skin as well so lastly guys, I'm just going to take this hair oil um, and apply it through my hair. As you can see, I have quite like dry and damaged hair and I feel like I do need to go for a haircut, but literally this hair oil is incredible in like maintaining the like healthiness of the hair, if that makes sense. So I like to apply a dry hair oil to my hair, just kind of keep it nourished, I guess. You guys, this is optional, but I just find like it's what my routine has been lately, so I thought I would include it in this full body skincare routine. <laughs> Otherwise, guys, this basically wraps up today's skincare. Okay, guys, so this is the uh, finished skincare routine. Uh, I swear, I have to leave in like two seconds. I have to finish this and I have to get changed. I swear I hate when I like have to chug down my smoothies because I always feel so sick. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this full head to toe body skincare routine. If you guys want any um, links to the products, it will be down below. And if you guys want to see how my sister made the body butter and the bath bomb, I'll leave that down below as well, those videos for you to check out. The moisturizer, I swear, is incredible. That that cocoa butter or like body butter is the most moisturizing thing I've ever used. And I suffer a lot with like dry, cracked skin over my body, especially like during like the years when I was doing swim teaching. Like my skin is just dried up so much from all the chlorine. And I said this body butter is the only thing that like actually properly, like thoroughly moisturizes my skin. So I really love using that the most and it's also handmade so you know what's actually in it as well so it's all natural it's good for your skin and it moisturizes like anything and then it's like leaves you smelling amazing because that cocoa butter or whatever it is it's just mm, it's so good i can't emphasize it enough it just smells so good and i always just feel refreshed afterwards so right now i'm feeling really zen but i've got to get into like my urgent get ready mode now <laughs> so i'll see you guys later i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any requests for upcoming videos please leave them down below and if you did like this video make sure to leave a big thumbs up before you leave i love you all so much thank you all for your amazing support and i'll see you very soon bye let go